This review. This review can be summed up as the Galaxy Buds Plus are Android's equivalent to AirPods. There, that's it. That's the review. In all seriousness though, the Galaxy Buds Plus are a welcome iterational upgrade over the original Galaxy Buds that released alongside the S10 series of devices. And just like their older brother, the Galaxy Buds Plus released alongside their companion Galaxy S20 series of devices. Man, I remember that event. Samsung had a high fashion phase, and you could go outside whenever you wanted. Anyhow, as previously mentioned, the Galaxy Buds Plus, being an iterational improvement, is a perfectly apt way of describing them. For starters, the sound has improved, becoming a bit fuller and a bit richer, a bit more heavy on the bass. The Bluetooth latency has certainly improved, as I'm no longer constantly annoyed by lip sync issues when watching videos. The fit in the ear has definitely improved, and Samsung even includes varying size ear fins to better help with that. The mic quality on the Buds Plus have improved, and now you can reasonably take a phone call with them. Hell, even the app on the phone has improved. If you're familiar with the original Galaxy Buds, then the Galaxy Buds Plus will be familiar as well. Samsung essentially packed in the same feature set, but again made improvements along the way. The big differences between the Plus and the OGs are the battery life, which on the Plus have gone up 11 hours for the earbuds, with an additional 22 hours total added by recharging them on the case, leading to a total listening time of 33 hours. That's actually kind of insane considering the size of not only the case as it's not really any that much larger than the OGs but the earbuds themselves as well. The battery life is so good that maintaining battery life has not been an issue for me and I don't have to be super anal about making sure they're charged. And if you do need to use the Buds Plus in a pinch, Samsung has patched in fast charging this time around as well. The other big difference, which was briefly alluded to earlier, is the microphone quality. You simply couldn't take or make a phone call on the original Galaxy Buds without it being an echoey, lagging mess. Samsung improved this area on the Buds Plus and packed in a competent set of microphones. In all honesty, this is probably my favorite improvement over the originals. But unfortunately, it's not all sunshine and rainbows for the Galaxy Buds Plus. Ambient mode, that is, the ability to pipe in outside sound into the Buds Plus, which was a big selling point on the originals, is of course back, but still has really harsh wind noise if you're moving even remotely fast or in a slightly windy environment. For a mode that's marketed as use it to listen to cars while you're jogging with the wind noise in ambient mode, you won't be able to hear them anyway. But ambient mode works fine for having a conversation with someone if you're too lazy to take the Buds Plus out, which I still think quite frankly is rude. Ambient mode is, of course, a mitigation of the seal the Buds Plus create in your ear. While the Buds Plus lack an A and C, which helps significantly in reducing the cost, the seal that they create actually does a good job of blocking outside noise. Yes, not as good as A and C, like what can be found on the Sony WF-1000 XM3s that I've been using for a while now, but better than nothing, and better than the normie AirPods Apple sells you at the same price point. But, back to some positives, I always had this weird issue with the original Galaxy Buds of my music pausing because they would detect that they were falling out of my ear or not still in my ear, whatever it was, the music paused and was annoying. And I didn't have this issue on the Buds Plus, but what issue I did have is when I was doing the exercise test. The exercise test consisted of riding my lawn board around my university and the surrounding area with the Buds Plus and of course K-pop blasting. While I didn't have the issue of the music auto-pausing because of detection issues, I did have another issue that honestly kind of ruined the whole experience. All of a sudden this weird rhythmic beeping started in one ear. It wasn't part of the song, as it was definitely out of time with the rhythm of the song I was listening to. It started in one ear and eventually spread to the other, like some sort of shitty herpes. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I searched through the Galaxy Wearable app and couldn't find any indications as to what the hell that noise could be. This persisted throughout the rest of my exercise test. It wasn't until I got home and started duck duck going that I found out the issue. It turns out the Buds Plus emit the beeping noise when they are overheating. While the 110 degree heat probably didn't help, I never had this issue with the original Galaxy Buds. 
My working theory is that either the Treller or increased battery capacity, perhaps a combination of both, contributed to extra heat generation. The dark blue Treller of my Galaxy Buds Plus absorbing more heat than the comparatively reflective white of my original Galaxy Buds. Speaking of color, the Galaxy Buds Plus now come in a variety of pimpin' colors. I chose this dark blue, as you've seen plenty of times throughout this video, but there's also red, white, black, and now purple. This is much better variety than the originals that came in white, black, or highlight or yellow that we don't have. So at the end of it all, are the Galaxy Buds Plus worth it? If you're getting into the market for Bluetooth earbuds, then these are pretty essential, especially given their now $140 price point. And quite frankly, I would recommend them for any Android and especially Samsung user. However, if you're upgrading from the original Galaxy Buds, the question becomes just a little bit murkier. In this case, I would only recommend upgrading if you need the additional battery life and the improved mics are important for you. The minor improvements in audio sound quality don't quite justify the upgrade by itself. And with that, that's going to do it for the Galaxy Buds Plus review. Make sure to like the video, subscribe for more tech content, hit the notification bell, follow us on Twitter at tech underscore four underscore thought, and if video games are more your thing, check out our affiliate cultureofgaming.com for all the latest gaming news, reviews, and opinion pieces.